little fella, and he's trying to get his friend. He can't reach him, and he looks around for something. And he sees this tree in the distance. So he runs as fast as he can to this tree, and he runs up to this tree, and he climbs up the tree, and he breaks off this enormous sized branch. And he takes this branch, and he picks it up, this, this smaller boy, and he runs back full speed to his friend, and he gets there, and he, and he starts pounding the ice, like violently pounding the ice, and he's lifting this branch up that's gigantic, that's much bigger than him, and he's pounding the ice, and he finally breaks through the ice, and he gets to his friend, he pulls his friend out, and he saves his friend's life. And the police and paramedics and the fire department's there, and they're looking around and they're scratching their heads and they're saying to themselves, how did this boy do this? How did this little boy run across this lake, go up this tree, break off this enormous sized branch, run back, start breaking the ice, breaking the ice, save his friend and pull him out. And they're all baffled. And this old man is standing there watching and he says, I can tell you how we did it. And the police and the fire look at him and they say, how? How did he do it? And he said, because nobody told him that he couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would we be and where would we be today if we didn't let the naysayers in our life get to our minds? Mm -hmm. Where would we be in this business if we didn't let people tell us that we couldn't do it? Where would we be? Because so many of us are where we are because we let other people tell us that we can't achieve what we want. We let other people laugh at us. We let other people make jokes of us and we let that get to our minds. I hear it over and over again with, with coaches and teammates, lack of support with, with family, with you know, siblings, friends. What would we do if we didn't let people laugh at us? And the mindset that I have going forward is, you know what, laugh at me. Let's talk results. Let's not talk about laughing. You know who can laugh at me? People, from my motto, people that can laugh at me is people more successful than me. Carl Beichler can laugh at me. Scotty Hobbs can laugh at me. <laughs> Guys, I'm dead serious right now. You let people that are less successful than you control where you go because you think that they're going to tell you what to do and they never walk in your shoes. They never built this business. Don't take constructive criticism and let people get to your head that haven't done what, where you want to go. Follow people that have what you have and do what they do. And the problem with that is when people start letting people get to them, we become students. And my challenge to you guys today is to stop being students. Stop being knowledge hoarders. Stop going to events, national wake-up calls, every single event, and taking the knowledge and never doing anything with it. Stop going, you go to Scotty's VIP session, you heard what he had to say. We have these amazing programs, you're hearing what to do, but you sit there and you don't in fact execute on the knowledge, because ideas, as Gary Vaynerchuk says, ideas without action means nothing. Right? Woo! So it comes with the mindset, it comes with you letting people telling you you can't achieve something. And most often, and I say time and time again, you get so caught up, and guys, I'm gonna be honest, some of these people probably live under the same roof as you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know these people, so you're so concerned with what they say that you know them better than you know yourself. It's the truth. So I hear people tell me all the time, David, thank you, your videos today, a couple of people say, your videos, thank you, David, you inspire me, your videos inspire me. Guys, I don't want to inspire you, I want to inspire you to take action. I want you to see what this opportunity can do for you, that it can change your life, that it can get you home. Hearing Scotty's story, hearing David's story, Denise's story, like it's changing their life. Honor that. So I have the one next slide that I'm going to go to. I don't know where the clicker is. Oh, I think it's up. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> Good thing you're in shape. That's a nice hop. Yeah. <laughs> you must work you out. Who you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's <a shit> shop. <laughs> who you are and who you want to be is what you do. Yes. Right now, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, Kristen and I have taken in the last year almost a 25% reduction with Beachbody in light of what's been happening with everything going on. It's hard. 
This is online. Kristen is not teaching anymore. Yes, I still work with the state police, but I have goals and dreams to leave at the end of next year. And if you do the simple math, when you're replacing a salary that's six figures and you're dropping at 20, almost 25%, it hurts. But what am I gonna do about it? What am I, what am I gonna do? Am I, gonna, am I going to let what's happening affect my actions? And I think of the story of the creation of the gospel. I don't know if many of you guys have heard of this, but when they first made the gospel, it was, it was round, it was smooth. And they hit the gospel, and it only went so far. The gospel came back, it was a little scuffed up, a little dent in it. They hit it, they hit it again, and it went a little further. Brought the, golf, the engineers brought the gospel back, and they see this gospel that has scuffs, that's been through some rough times, they hit it again, and it went even further. And they have what they have today is what we know is the dimpled gospel. And I always go on faith over fear because I truly believe that our trials and our tribulations and what we go through each and every day creates the stronger version of ourselves. So what Kristen and I are going through right now is not stopping us because faith over fear, life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you, and we're going to continue to grow because of what's going on. That's the mindset we need to have. Your trials and tribulations and toughnesses that you're going through right now, whether it's your marriage, your kids, your school, it's creating the stronger version of you. Mm -hmm. And I want to I share this clip of the movie from Miracle on the Hudson, Sully. And who, who, who of you guys here know about the plane that crashed on the Hudson everybody survived? Yep. All right, so I want to share this small clip for you guys right now. Oh, oh my God.
So guys, that video says a lot. I compare it to what goes on in our life right now. I compare it on to what's going on in my life with the business, when everything feels like it's crashing down and we're going down and what do you do? And who knows what happened after that crash? What happened today? Everybody survived, right? Yeah. And what did Captain Sully, what did Sully do when he was on that plane with all the passengers? Anybody remember what he did? He was the last one off. He was making sure everybody was getting out. He was making sure everybody was getting off. In the hardest times, he was worrying about other people to make sure that they went first, to make sure that they got where they needed to be. So when I think about my business, I think of where it is, I realize a quote that I heard recently is, true leaders don't abandon ship. When life gets hard, we don't quit. We don't chase money. Are there things that have happened recently? I'm gonna speak about it. Have things happened in the network recently with other businesses? Yes, but do you realize they don't change lives like we do? Woo! We can change, right, you can change the money so far, but success is unfulfillment. You make a certain amount of money and it's not gonna change once you get to that level. It's not. We change lives. It's not about products, it's about what happened internally. Hearing Scotty's story with the kids and bringing Gabby home and him not being able to pay the mortgage. Yes, the money is important, but it's the moments of what happens internally. Hearing their success story earlier, what's happened with them internally. That's what separates us. I'm passionate about what I do every single day because I believe in what we have. Believe in what you do, no matter how hard it is. We all signed up to be a coach at one point. This was the, the original coach application. Yeah. <laughs> right? Anybody remember this? The old paper way? I know Scotty said he faxed it in. Right? Now it's electronic. This is the point I want to make. How are you looking at this opportunity? This little piece of paper? Is it some small thing in your life? Is that how you're looking at it? Because it's the same thing that you filled out and Scotty Hobbs filled out who's in the Millionaire Club. Yeah. Woo! What are you doing in the dark when nobody's watching you? What are you doing in the dark tonight when we're all home and you want to be on the couch? Are you working? Because let me tell you something. We are, Kristen and I, I'm working three times as, I hard, as, as hard as I am now than I was a year ago. Even harder than when I worked as a lead coach. Last Sunday night, I'll give you an example. My family, they were on the couch watching TV. I've never really done Instagram. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you as it is. I'm trying to figure it out. And I was stuck on Sunday. And something that was supposed to take me 20 minutes took me three hours. Because I refused to stop. Because my motto, I've said, you guys heard me at the event, we had a thousand people there. I live my life to say, you will not outwork me. I will not go to bed until it's done. <laughs> so how are you looking at this application? I'm looking at this as my golden ticket. I'm looking at this, this is what's still gonna let me retire. I'm looking at this, is this what's gonna change my life for the future. Nobody can stop you from practicing, nobody. It's you versus you. Beachbody gave me coach, I turned that into Emerald Coach. Beachbody gave me Emerald Coach, I turned it into Diamond Coach. Beachbody gave me Diamond Coach, I turned that into Star Diamond Coach. Beachbody gave me Star Diamond, turned it into Two Star. Beachbody gave me Two Star, turned it into Five Star. Beachbody gave me Five Star, Two Time Elite, Eight Star Diamond Coach. Opportunity is here. What are you doing with your opportunity? That's my time, guys.